Okay, we're gonna. I want to go turn the webhook on first, so we can see it all happen as we add this. But I'm gonna make a webhook, and I'm gonna make that webhook here. I'm gonna make it a post, and that's about it. I could give it a nice name, and I should give it authentication. But just for this demo, I'm gonna crank through this. Then I'm gonna make sure I make it active because that's what I always do: is I mess up the making it active. Then I go over here to integrations, and we then go to database webhooks, and then webhooks. Now. I'm going to go create a new webhook and I'm going to call it, usually I'll name it after the N8N just so I could find it. Okay. So then we go back to here and we do that. And now what is the table? And like I mentioned in the first part, public, it's sorry, it's going to be in the public schema. Okay. That's where you typically do things unless it's a user thing or whatever. And in, in this case, I'm going to go look for the blog one I made. Here it is, blog post. So when a blog post is inserted, not updated or deleted. We can do things there, but it gets more complicated and I'll teach you that, but not right here. And then we just add our particular URL that we had and that's it. So now we are ready to roll. Now, if my little recipe system worked, then we'll, we'll end up saving that to the database.